एंड वेलकम टू माई न्यू वीडियो ना लिटिल विट फर्दर टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टर्लिंग इंटरपोलेशन फार्मूला बिफोर दैट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो यू नो हाउ टू यूज कॉस फॉरवर्ड एंड कॉस बैकवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन फार्मूला यूजिंग सेंट्रल डिफरेंस टेबल नाउ यू कैन ईजीली मेड द सेंट्रल डिफरेंस टेबल ऑल्सो दैट इज द सेम पैटर्न सो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस वॉट इज द स्टर्लिंग फार्मूला so sterling formula is the taking mean of gauss forward and gauss backward formula then we will get a new formula that is called the sterling interpolation formula so have a look what is the gauss forward gauss forward is if y p p at the point where we have to find out y x or y p y 0 plus p del y 0 plus p minus p minus 1 by 2 del square y minus 1 p p minus 1 p plus 1 by 2 del 3 del 3 y of minus 1 plus and so on similarly i told you that every term repeat two times y 0 is only y 0 del y 0 y minus 1 del del square y minus 1 del 3 y minus 1 in next two terms del 4 y minus 2 del 5 y minus 2 and so on similarly in gauss backward same process but only y0 is one type so y0 plus p del y minus 1 p p plus 1 by 2 difference is there is p minus 1 p plus 1 del square y minus 1 two times then del is q y minus 2 next term del 4 y minus 2 p p plus 1 p minus 1 by factorial 3 and so on now we are taking the mean of both the formulas each term by term mean means if this is a this is b then a plus b divided by 2 the central mean so for the mean our new formula is y p y 0 plus y 0 is 2 y 0 by 2 gives y 0 p del y p del y minus 1 so p del y minus 1 plus del y 0 by 2 <coughs> This term is del square y minus one del square. When we are adding both the term, this is p square minus p, p square minus p, and this is plus p square plus p upon two. So minus p plus p cancel. P square plus p square is two p square. So two p square by two, and one more factorial two is there. So 2p square by 2 is only p square upon 2. So upon 2 is p square by 2 del square minus 1. Similarly, this plus this, and taking the mean of this term and so on. So this new formula is known as Stirling interpolation formula. Now this is the Stirling interpolation formula. We use this and solve the example. So you can easily understand how to. Use this formula. So here is one example. Example is find the value of y at x is equal to zero point three three using the Stirling formula, where the given values of x and regarding function y is given by the table. So table in the question only x and y. These two terms are given, and the rest of table we have to made it. you know it's very easy x is given 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.4 up to 0.7 y is given respective value and here we have to find x at 0.33 so we choose the center value which is near to the finding value so we choose x0 is 0.3 because it is the nearest point of x33 so this is our x0 and regard respectively this we have to form the table same method to construct the table for del y this is y x0 x minus 1 x minus 2 so this is y Minus two. So this is del y minus two. This is del square y minus two, and so on. Similarly, now you know what are the notation. So how this term will come? This term zero point nine six zero eight minus 
0 0.9900 gives this value. Lower minus this is this. This minus this is this. This minus this. Construct the table. Then del square. This minus this gives this. This minus this gives. This minus this and so on. So this is the our method to construct the table till the last value. So del 6y is 0 0.0001. When we construct the table, next move on, see the formula and substitute the value. For substituting the value in central difference table, very easy. For Gauss forward formula, we use this central, then lower, upper, lower, upper and if perhaps. For Gauss backward, we use by upper value. Upper, lower, upper, lower. Center value is same. But in Sterling, we use these all the value regarding our x0 and y0. So, our y0 is 0 0.9139. Then these two values, this, then these two value, then this, then these two value, then this and so on. So, have a look of our formula. Sterling is y0. At the place of y0, we put 0 0.9139 plus p. First, we have to calculate the p. Before we move on to solve this example, I will tell you one importance of the Sterling interpolation formula. It contains even order differences in the central line, even order differences in the central line and the odd order differences of same order lying, lying between in the lines of above and lower in the central line. So this is the from the central line all the even order we take the single value for all the odd from the central line. This is our my central line. See my hand. So below Below and above, we have to take in the below and above and the mean. Below and above and the mean. So, this is the substitution in the Sterling formula. So, first we calculate the value of P. After P, we have to substitute these values. So, I can erase just above part. Then, we, I will show you how to substitute the values. We calculate the P and then substituting the values respective formula. So, hence for calculating the P, P is X minus X0 by H. Where H is the difference. Difference is always fixed because these all formula working for fixed interval. So, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 difference is 0.1. Our initial value X0 is 0 0.3 we consider and we have to find the value at x is 0 0.33. So, p is x minus x 0 by x 0 0.33 minus 0 0.3 by 1. It gives 0 0.3 which is less than half. Maximum time we can choose or we can see that our p is always less than 0 0.5. So, this is our p. Now, we substitute all the values in the Sterling formula. This is our formula. I will substitute here y0 y0 is 0 0.9139 0 0.3 plus p p is 0 0.3 plus this value so this value is given by this plus this by 2 so minus 0 0.0469 minus 0 0.6168 by 2 plus p square by 2 so p is 0 0.3 so p square is 0 0.09 by 2 then this value G minus 0 0.0149 plus p p square minus 1 by factorial 3 p p square minus 1 by factorial 3 and then this value is given by this plus this by 2 so 0 0.028 plus 0 0.034 by 2 next is p square p square minus 1 by factorial 4 p square plus p square minus 1 by factorial 4 and the last value is this 0 0.0006. So, if you are not memorized the, this values, then also you can, if you know what is the term of P, then you can easily substitute these values from the center table. Even is this, 
then this plus this by 2, then this, this plus this by 2, then this, this plus this and so on. So hence now we have to solve it, simplify it, we can get the value. So I will erase it now. When we substitute and solve it, we will get it is 0 0.09139 plus Sorry, it will in minus, minus 0 0.01631 minus 0 0.0067 minus 0 0.00014 for minus 0 0.0000. So, it becomes almost 0. When we solve it, it will become 0 0.89678. So, it is equal to 0 0.8968, which is the required value respective y is at z, 0 0.33. So, in the table, if x is 0 0.33, y is 0 0.8968, somewhere between these two values. This is what is Stirling interpolation formula and how we can use by I can show you with the example. That is all about the Stirling formula. Next we move for Basel formula. Thank you very much.